Hello everyone. Let's discuss about indexed sequential access method ISAM today. So what is this ISAM? Uh, this is used to determine how we are able to store the data in the database. In what way is the data getting stored into the database is understood or is explained using this ISAM here. Okay. So um, in order to understand that First of all, we should know the definition of indexing. Indexing is a data structure technique which is used to quickly locate and access the data in the database. See, the very formal explanation for indexing is you have your textbook. Yes, in the front page of your textbook, you have table of contents with index, right? So what happens is for each topic, you'll be given with index page number. So that if you wanted to know the a particular topic the page number of a particular topic then you'll be looking at the index so it is a data structure technique used to quickly we can quickly locate and get the data from that table of content contents in our textbook the same is with databases here okay so indexed sequential access method uses such indexing technique in order to uh, retrieve the data from the database so what type of structure is ISAM. When you say indexed sequential access method from the name itself, it is saying that I'm using indices. I'm using indices in a sequential order in order to access the data from the database. That is what ISAM determines indexed sequential access method. It is a, it is said to be a static index structure. That means when you say static, the thing is it is constant and you will have to add only to that constant uh, indexing structure, but you can't use a variable indexing structure here. Okay, so this ISAM is a method for creating, maintaining and manipulating files of data. That is what is databases. And using this ISAM, we will be able to retrieve, create, maintain, manipulate, update all such data from the uh, in the database by using exam technique. So when you say it is a sequential access method, how are you going to retrieve the data from the database? We will be retrieving sequentially by using one key or randomly by using one or more keys because we are having index here. By using the index, though they are stored sequentially, by using index, we will be able to retrieve the data from the database even uh, randomly. Suppose I wanted to look at 20th page in the beginning. Later, I wanted to search for a topic. Let us suppose it is at 100th page. Even then, I can move to 100th page just by using index. The same happens here in ISAM. But the thing is, it is using a static index structure. So once it is stored there, it has to be there. We can't move from one location to the other location. Because when you when you imagine your index exam structure, it is with respect to the address points available there in the databases when it is getting stored. So you will be using it or you will be accessing only when the data is stored sequentially. When compared to all other sequential file organizations, ISAM is said to be an advanced file organization structure. Because of that, you can have, because of that, you can have, what do we call, index as well as random access of data. So the basic uh, procedure for storing the data in, in database by using ISAM is, all the records are stored in the file using a primary key. And an index value is also generated for each primary key so that it can get mapped with the record. So that it can get mapped with the record. So if you can look at the picture of such exam structure, you will have a primary key and its key associated. You'll have a primary key and its index entry. You'll have another primary key and its index uh, entry for it. Okay, that is, this is how the data or the structure is stored for an exam. So what this index contains, as we said earlier, it is it is contained or it contains pointers. It is nothing but the address of the record. The pointer is used to point to the address of the record in the file. 
so if any record has to be retrieved if any record has to be retrieved then we'll be looking at the index value then the address of that particular data block is fetched and record is retrieved from the memory okay so this is the index entry for the uh, for exam structure okay that means each primary key is associated with a key and then um, if you looked at the how the data is stored you'll be the data is stored in terms of data pages index pages and then overflow pages that means you'll have the root at the beginning and then the index pages and then the overflow pages now we should see what are these overflow pages so when you are creating the file first of all the leaf pages are allocated sequentially sorted by search key then index pages are allocated then space for overflow pages we'll understand all this in the next slide that is what is this see what happens here is if you consider the exam tree here if you consider exam tree here this is said to be the data page the root one this is said to be the data page and if you look at here this is the value and you are having some space this space is nothing but in structure this is called as space but this is actually the pointer address pointer to the respective data locations so when you are storing the data in the database using exam structure this is said to be the root and the data whichever is coming next that data is stored like if the next data whichever is coming is less than 40 then that is stored on the left side of this particular root value and if it is greater than 40 then it is stored on the right side of this value okay so when it is stored on the left side of this value see next value let me suppose i need to store 33 then that has to be stored here and always remember within a root you will be having two values which can be stored you can't extend it to more you will have two values so 20 33 are the values which are said to be the index pages these pages are holding Mm, values which are less than 40 and the right side values are all greater than 40 that is 51 and 63 okay now the actual data comes into picture and if i have something like 10 and 15 then i'll be storing it on the left side of 20 and if it is 27 then i'll be storing it on the right side of 20 which is again the left side of 33 in the left pointer of 33 similarly the right pointer of 33 is held with greater than or equal to values that is 33 and 37 next it is 51 now if i wanted to store something called as 46 which is less than 51 so it will be coming to the left of 51 so the left of 51's address value will be pointed to this 46 that is 46 here which is on the left of 51 fine now you have one more value value called 51 which is greater than or equal to 51 so that must be kept on the right side of address value address index of 51 okay that is stored here if you consider just this tree structure alone exam tree structure alone it is well and good everything is having every data entry is having two two values which is its maximum structure okay and as you say it is a sequential structure you can't just grow up these particular values to three or four suppose if i get some hundred here i'm not supposed to store it on the address value after 63 that is 100 okay i can't store value greater than 63 here that is 100 what should i do if i get such values which are greater than or which is not accommodating here in that case in exam tree you will be going to the other structure called as other page called as overflow pages overflow pages okay so when you say overflow pages this is used to store the data which we can't store in the primary leaf pages which we can't store it in the primary leaf pages so what is such data is see if you wanted to store something called as 23 here this 23 
should is greater than 20 so when it is greater than 20 it should be stored on the right side pointer of 20 that is fine that i will have to store it here that is 23 but do i have enough place to store 23 no i don't have enough place to store 23 here so when i don't have enough place to store 23 i will have to create an overflow page which is resulting in creating or extending the same thing to some other two more values that is 23 okay so as this is as i don't have any space to store 23 i'll be placing it in the overflow page and link it to the to this particular page similarly i have something called as 48 48 is less than 51 because i'm coming right from here just because here only i have the index value pointer value yes here only i have the index value that is why i'm coming from here fine 48 must be stored on the left of 51 when I try to store it on the left of 51, when I try to store it on the left of 51, already two values are finished here. That means there is no more space for 48. As a result, I'll be storing it, I'll be storing it in the next part of 48. That is next part of 40, 46. That is in the overflow page. That is 48 comes in the overflow page. Okay, similarly 41, which is also less than 51, will be written somewhere here in the overflow page. Now I have one more value called as 42. Can I even attach this 42 here? No, I can't because my exam structure is confined only to two values always right from the beginning. When that is the case, I can't just store 42 here. I can't just store 42 here. Okay, that means I can't just add up an, a value called 42 here. Rather, I'll be going for creating one more overflow page. Because I should represent it as only two values per page. Two values per page. So, 42 will be coming under next uh, this thing. Let us suppose you have one more uh, 49. Even that will come here. You have one more, uh, what do we call, what can we call? Yeah, you have one more 39 even that will be coming in the next overflow page. So, because it is a static structure, you can't just increase the values here, nor even in the overflow page, but you can create a hierarchy in the overflow page. Hierarchy in the overflow page. Okay. Suppose we wanted to delete. Now we inserted, right? But now just let us suppose we wanted to delete some values. Let us suppose we wanted to delete some values. Then in that case, see, I wanted to delete value called 42. Where is actually 42? It is in an overflow page. So how, how could you retrieve that? You'll be coming from 42 is greater than 40, is less than 51. You don't have space here. That means it is somewhere in the overflow page. Okay, fine. That is somewhere in the overflow page. You just delete it from here. That is 42. Next, it is 51. Let us suppose. Next, it is 51. If you can look here. 51 this there is a difference in between the value of 51 and this 51 this is value and this is said to be value along with the address so we will we'll want it to remove only the value here not the address okay so 51 is available where which is greater than 40 this is 51 but this is an address value so you can't just remove the index here okay as such you'll be coming here yes you'll, you'll find 51 somewhere here so you'll try to remove this 51. Let us suppose you are removing 51 from here. Let us suppose you are removing some 51 from here. If that is the case, if that is the case, then you will not have the left and right pointers for 51. When there is no branch for 51, you cannot have data related to 51, 55 also here. Even this will be lost. But you just wanted to remove data called as 51 but not 55 also. As a result, you will be removing the data only from the data 51. Only from the data 51. The next value is 97. Where is 97? That is available somewhere here. That is after 63. Yes, immediately to 63 there is a value called as 97. There is a value called as 97 okay so you can just simply remove that that is 97 when you remove that you will have a space here you'll have a space here 
remember you because this is for two structures two values as such you'll have a space here so if you consider if you consider the overflow pages and leaf pages the thing is in overflow pages if you are trying to remove you'll be removing the entire thing same in the leaf pages you'll if you try to remove you'll remove the value here and you will be maintaining the space when you don't have two values in both the things then you'll just remove the entire thing because if at all if some other number comes here you can just put it off insert it off no issues in an overflow page when you don't have value on in the other area in the other space and when you have only value in this when you're trying to remove this you can just simply remove because you don't have any other value but if you try to remove 97 here you're not supposed to remove the both the things because even 63 is there 63 is a valuable value here so you can't just remove that thing that is what has happened while deleting this 42 and uh, 42 51 and 97 okay uh, so this is the way how exam structure is built up and this is the way how uh, the values are the nodes are inserted and deleted so in exam structure one main thing which you should remember is besides the data pages which consists of roots and address values besides index pages which consists of address values there is one more one more page called as overflow pages in exam structure because it is a static index structure you have one more page called as overflow page is that clear so that is uh, when you consider the advantages of exam each record has address of its data block and searching for any huge data is very quick and easy and since the index is based on the primary key we can retrieve the data from that key as well you can retrieve even the range of data some range something like if you have a name called jc and if you wanted to remove ja it, it can be done it can be done using exam structure as every coin has two sides even exam structure had some other disadvantages that is this will require extra space because it is storing uh, overflow pages because it is storing overflow pages and just for the sake of one node you have to add two entries you have to add two entries that will lead to wastage in the space and when the new records are inserted then these have to be constructed to maintain the sequence that is why also you are creating overflow pages see let us suppose according to this particular point let us suppose we have 40 46 in 50 under 51 you have values called 40 46 okay now if you are trying to add or insert a value called as yeah same thing 48 let us suppose okay because the space is over here what are you trying to do because it has to be inserted somewhere here because it has to be inserted only in the sequence that is why you are storing it in the left of 51 and somewhere attached to this particular primary leaf page suppose let us suppose there is some space here there is some space here then you can insert in the space so the disadvantage is because the things have to be stored in sequence then to maintain the sequence new records has to be inserted so when the record is deleted the space used by it needs to be released otherwise the performance of the database will shut down that is the problem here if you don't remove that is the problem here so uh, you have both advantages and disadvantages in exam one thing you should majorly understand or remember in exam is you will be having overflow pages you will have overflow pages and always in exam the data is stored by using in terms of primary key and that is the reason why we are able to retrieve even the part of the data that is also one major advantage of exam uh, so this is basically said to be a static index structure so everything goes in terms of static okay so that by using that static nature we we are resulting to create these overflow pages always these are all primary pages nothing but primary keys and these are all overflow pages hope everything is clear thank you